Hello friends, today I am again here to discuss some important issues with you. Today's topic is stone dust barrier, its erection, installation and other important features. As we all know that both Pullman regulation as well as DGMS circular advocates erection of stone dust barrier in all underground mines to maintain safety. But before going in detail of stone dust barrier SDB, we should look into the provision as stipulated in coal mine regulation 146 about its installation in underground coal mines. If we see the verbatim of the words given in coal mine regulation as in every gassy seam of second or third degree or in the development workings of first degree gassy mine where there is likelihood of occurrence of inflammable gas in dangerous quantities additional precautions shall be taken by providing stone dust barriers to prevent an ignition or explosion. So here lies the very important words that where, where there is likelihood of occurrence of inflammable gas in dangerous quantities. So the regulation speaks about the erection and installation of that means provision of stone dust barrier in almost all mines. So nowadays, as I believe, no colliery manager shall take any risk to endanger the human life or human wealth and would like to erect stone dust barrier in their minds. So we can say that stone dust barrier is mandatory and obviously it shall be of approved type as stated in Coleman Regulation 146. It is also worthy to state that Chief Inspector only can permit for any alternative precautionary arrangements or measures in lieu of stone dust barrier on its merit. It is well known that stone dust barrier broadly is of two types, light type of barriers and heavy type of barriers, though there is intermediate type also. But here we will be discussing mainly on light type of barriers and heavy type of barriers. First about the dust loading for light types. Sales of light type of barriers shall be loaded with not more than 30 kg per meter self length and the total quantity of stone dust in the barrier shall not be less than 110 kg per meter square of the roadway. And the shelves of heavy type of barriers shall be loaded with not more than 60 kg per meter of self length and the total quantity of stone dust in the barrier shall be not less than 390 kg per meter square of the roadway. But the important terminology here, the meter square cross section, what do you mean by that? While calculating quantity of stone dust in a barrier, the cross sectional area shall mean the average cross sectional area as determined by an offset survey of the roadway where the barrier is to be installed. So the offset plan or offset survey is essential here. Now we will be looking at what are the duties of ventilation officer in respect of erection and maintenance of stone dust barrier in underground mines. Very briefly I would like to highlight over here that he shall examine the stone dust barrier once at least in each week. He shall test 
about the dispersibility of dust by taking some dust on his hand and blowing onto it blowing onto it and if it shows any tendency to cake or consolidate it the dust on the barrier shall be removed and to be replaced by fresh dust he shall also arrange for repairing of any damage to the shelves or any other parts of the stone dust barrier if the defect cannot be rectified then short firing shall be stopped forthwith this is very important parameter very important condition I, that's why i'll be repeating it again if the defect observed by him cannot be rectified the short firing shall be stopped forthwith within the district pending remedy of the defect as early as possible he shall also supervise the erection of the new barriers but at any time if ventilation officer is not in a position to rectify the defect or damage to rectify the de defect or damage of a barrier he shall immediately report the matter to the manager who shall take immediate steps to put the stone dust barrier in order ventilation officer shall also see that barriers are shifted at necessary intervals to ensure that they are maintained constantly within the recommended range of distance from the face which has been given in dgms circular 6 by 1975 vsl also write a detailed report on his inspection and action taken if any the report shall be countersigned by the colored manager he shall also record data on the position of the shelves number of shelves quantity of stone dust cross sectional area of the road where the stone dust barrier is to be uh, installed renewal of stone dust if any date of his inspection any other relevant particulars this is also known as the check board as per the circular 6 by 1997 which will help monitoring of the stone dust barrier a check board is provided near each barrier containing all this information which is very essential in respect of each stone dust barrier like every other safety measures stone dust barrier also has got very important points not only that we can call it some riders which are to be adhered to very seriously which are as follows shelves shall be so arranged that collapse their collapse in the event of explosion is not impeded number 2 barriers shall be sited as low as possible as low as convenient within the upper third of the roadway this is very vital point number 3 stone dust on the shelves shall be not less than 10 cm from the roof and side of the roadway so that it can topple down while there is any explosion no boards or shelves shall be fastened either to each other or with some fixed brackets it will facilitate toppling down by the uh, your toppling down easily so that the dust explosion can be smothered out aptly or effectively next is distance between two shelves for the light barrier should be maintained within 0.9 meter to 2 meter and the distance between two shelves for the heavy barrier within 1.25 meter to 2.7 meter so these are the things which are to be maintained very effectively very cautiously in almost all mines of underground sector so that 
in case of any explosion your more precisely the coal dust explosion it can be tackled very rightly so that there would not be any danger from this explosion and stone dust barrier would be able to take care of it so we should not forget to observe the all the provisions all the guidelines as enumerated both in coal mine regulation 146 and dgm circular 6 by 1975 and 6 by 1997 very effectively so that the health both the mines as well as the miners would be maintained very rightly and it will improve the all the safety standards of the mines altogether so friends on stone dust barrier today this is the your information what i would like to extend to you next day this time i will be again here with you to dis- discuss may, 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 much more important issues on this solid blasting and its other parameters the importance and its effect merits and demerits altogether till then bye bye